A National Geographic researcher and his team have uncovered fossilized remains of five ancient crocodile species that lived among dinosaurs some 100 million years ago. One of the crocs had an oversized set of canines, and another had a snout like a duck's bill. They were discovered in the North African Sahara, where National Geographic explorer-in-residence Paul Serino began expeditions 15 years ago. During those expeditions, Serino first discovered an ancient croc, popularly known as Super Croc. At 40 feet long and 10 tons, it was big enough to take down a dinosaur. These stubby teeth didn't even touch each other to snare a fish. No, they were hook-like, strong cylinders to grab onto a dinosaur's limb or neck and pull it into the water. And we began to understand this animal as a hidden predator of the dinosaurs. Serino and his team soon discovered key fossils of previously unknown or poorly understood species, most of them walking upright. I began to realize that we really have half a dozen new species. And one of the great things we found in the Sahara was this world of crocodilians that we had no idea existed when we set foot there. Serino assembled a team of experts to recreate what these crocs like, like might have looked like with computers and elastic casts. One of the most beautifully preserved specimens, Serino calls it little duck croc, is flat billed with long sleek leg bones and about three feet long. What would a long-limbed crocodile be like? I, I mean, is it, would it really be like a mammal? How would it have moved? How does this galloping crocodile do it? And another of the new species, the 20-foot triple-fanged reptile dubbed boar croc, could gallop too. It had a head and mouth that could bring down a dinosaur. In the National Geographic special, When Crocs Ate Dinosaurs, Serino travels to Australia to witness living crocodiles with similar traits to the now extinct fossilized ancestors he's found in northern Africa. The Australian galloping crocodile, known as the Freshy, can sprint on land at high speed, using the up-and-down motion of a true terrestrial animal, but in the water goes back to the sidewinder motion of a tail-propelled river creature. It helps Serino and his team visualize how the ancient crocs, especially the boar croc, could have been a terror to the dinosaurs. They would have pursued dinosaurs on land with agility, and then they would have turned around and dove into the water and swam away like a freshie. And that, I really think, is the secret to crocodile success. The other ancient crocs discovered are the pancake croc, 20 feet long with a thin, 3-foot long set of jaws. Doll croc was about 3 feet long and had a very large forebrain, possibly indicating higher intelligence and likely was as comfortable on land as in the water. And rat croc was about three feet long with a pair of buck teeth in the lower jaw to flesh out small prey. When Crocs Ate Dinosaurs premieres November 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern on the National Geographic Channel.